everyone? Today, we're diving into something super cool. We're going to create this awesome snake animation. And not just that, we'll also build a beautiful environment and epic lighting to bring the whole scene to life. This is part one of the tutorial. In this one, we'll animate the snake. And in part two, we'll set up the environment, add lighting, set up cameras, and render it all out in style. So buckle up, let's jump right in. All right, first things first, press A to select everything and delete that dirty little default cube. No, please don't delete me. Too late, buddy, it's Blender Law, you gotta go. All right, smash Shift A and drop in a plane like you mean it. Now, press S to scale it up. Boom, instant ground. Then hit F4, go to import and bring in your glorious 3D model. Let's drop that superstar into the scene. Okay, so now delete the some unwanted object. Wanna use the same model I'm using? I got you. Check the description below and grab that link. All right. First, let's scale down our snake. It's way too big for the scene right now. Now, hit Shift plus A and add a curve. Time to draw the path. Let's make things cleaner. Hide the plane and the snake for now so we can focus. Select the curve, go into edit mode, and delete those default vertices. We don't need them. Now, click the pencil icon and start drawing your custom curve. Make sure you're in top view, just press numpad 7 and sketch the path you want your snake to follow. Wiggle it around a bit, give it that slithery vibe. Once you're happy with the shape, go back to object mode and unhide the snake. Scale it down if you haven't already, then head over to the modifier tab. Add a curve modifier and for the curve object, select the one we just drew. If things look weird, don't panic. Just play around with the deform axis until the snake lines up properly. Easy fix. All right, now head over to the object properties panel and let's tweak the location axes. We want the snake to follow the path perfectly. Let's test it out. Move it in the Z axis. Hmm, nope, that's not it. Try Y. Nah, still off. Aha, X axis. Yep, there we go. That's the one. Now the snake follows the path just the way we want. So if you take a look, the snake is floating a bit above the grid. Let's fix that. Just move it down slightly. Yep, that looks much better. But wait, if you look closely, the curve isn't very smooth. No worries, select the curve, go to the curve data properties and crank up the resolution. There we go, much smoother. Now, select the snake again, go to the object properties, and lock the Y and Z axes. We don't want it sliding around randomly. Let's make the ground plane a bit bigger. Just scale it up so the scene feels more balanced. Now, for the animation, select the snake, go to object properties, and insert a keyframe on the X axis. Jump a few frames forward, move the snake along the X axis, and insert another keyframe. Let's hit play. Whoa, that's way too fast. No problem, just drag that second keyframe a little further forward in the timeline. Now hit play again. Yep, that's looking smooth. Let's scale the plane just a bit more for a nicer composition. Perfect. Now, if you look closely, the snake looks like it's snapping or jerking around the curve. That's because some parts of the curve are too sharp. Let's fix that. Go ahead and select the curve, jump into edit mode, and click on one of the sharp vertices. You'll see handles appear, grab one handle, press G, and move it around until the curve looks nice and smooth. Repeat this for all the sharp corners along the path, and hey, if it still feels a little jagged, just right click and subdivide the curve to add more control points. Smooth as butter! And that wraps up part one of this tutorial. In part two, we'll add textures, build out the environment, set up cameras, lights, and render the final animation. So stick around, subscribe if you haven't already, and as always, thank you so much for watching.